Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Gold Label The Suicide Squad King Shark. I don't know how I'm going to title this. Anyways, uh, yes, uh, I, I got this figure before I got the last figure. I needed to complete the uh, build fig um, with the uh, collect to build fig. So I, I will show them off and we'll show off the differences. Because I doubt the arms aren't going to be that different, so uh, we'll we'll take you know we'll do that in a moment. But I do wanted to do the box part of the video. Lately, I've been just jumping right into the figure. But uh, this box is huge; it doesn't even fit on screen. So there's the top. You can see the Suicide Squad logo right there, and it is big. It is chunky, like King Shark. There's the side. You can see King Shark Suicide Squad, and then there's the back. I love that. I, I might actually cut that out to keep for myself, but uh, lifting this up, you can see all the other figures there. You can pick up uh, Polka Dot Man, I, uh, Polka Dot Man, Bloodsport, and Harley Quinn. I all are all figures I did review. So here's the other side of the box, and uh, yeah, that's about it for the packaging. Let's get this bad boy out of the packaging and see how cool he really is. All right, we got King Shark out of the packaging. And I gotta say, hey, uh, I like this figure a lot. Uh, he's really cool. Um, you know, not the most articulated and, you know, not the most posable, but it's King fucking Shark. What other pose do you need other than him standing there and gracing your shelf? My God, this guy's awesome. Uh, so this is a part of the gold label uh, line. And, uh, yeah, so it, it comes with a few extra things, paint apps, it comes with this thing. This thing holds the cards. Um, unfortunately, it's a little too snug, so it, it kind of messes up my cards. Uh, if I try to put it in, like, I, I try to put the Polka Dot Man card in there. And uh, you can just see in the corner there. It got uh, a little messed up. So, that's unfortunate that I can't use it. Because I, I, I was about to say, like, I, I would use this in every video. Just having sit it in, you know, having sitting it, having it sit in the background with the card of the figure. I would have done that every video, but uh, he does come with the display base as well, and then he comes with the foil. You can see me. Hey, what's up? Uh, foil um, card. I'm not the biggest fan of foils, uh, but yeah. Anyways, there's a read up. Want to read it? Go ahead and pause it now. And then we got some uh, bits. <laughs> so you got this guy right here, and, uh, the arm. Look at that. Oh my god, that is very graphic. And Warner Brothers doesn't want, you know, guns to come with the toys. Like, dude, look at this. Are you kidding me? <laughs> You'd rather a kid see this than a gun? Like, I, I don't know. Whatever. But these are really nice. I like the paint apps on them. The sculpt is, is really good, too. I love all the wrinkles. And then, obviously, the uh, the muscles and the bone and the everything in there. It's just really gross. But, yeah. Cool. Let's take a look at King Shark. By the way, I do want to say real quick before all of you click off, stay tuned for the comparisons because I got a bunch of comparisons to do. So, anyways, here is the head sculpt. God, this camera's too uh, low. It's, uh, the, you know, on the boxes of the Suicide Squad figures, it said that King Shark was going to be the biggest one yet, and he is. My God. Holy crap. Uh, he's definitely the biggest when it comes to you know, height to the width, you know, but anyway, so here is King Shark. I do wish he had a bloody mouth, but, uh, yeah. So, I love that head sculpt. Look at that. Really good. Looks like a shack. Uh, and so, just comparing it to the, uh, the, you know, the collective build, it's pretty much the same. I think there might be a little bit more paint apps on this, but... Yeah, you can definitely see a lot less paint on this one. And then the pants are different as well. Uh, I prefer this one a little bit more, but this is not, you know, I mean, it's just the pants, you know. It's not anything too significant. But, yeah, so those are the two major differences. I don't know about the arms. Like I said, I, I haven't gotten my Peacemaker figure yet, but there's the fin right there looking awesome. I do wish it was a little bigger, but I'm not, you know, I'm not too crazy. I'm not going to, you know criticize too much. I love the, you got the gills on the side of his head there. 
the skin, you know, the gray skin, shark, shark skin. So there is the uh, hand. I was going to do it with the right hand, but hand. Yes, that's your hand. Oh, my God. Nom nom. Yeah, I don't know. Fucking love King Shark. He's awesome. But, yeah. You can see the pants there. Looks good. You can't really articulate them, though. I've, I've seen someone on Facebook cut out some of the pants to so you can move around a little bit better. I would love to do that, but I don't want to mess up my figure. Fortunately, I have two, so if I really wanted to, I could, but I don't want to. Uh, but, yeah. Looks, oh, my God. He's just awesome. He, you know, I don't know. He's just he's just awesome. Uh, and Sylvester Stallone, he's the perfect choice to do the voice. But uh, anyways, you can get you can get the mouth opened up too, so that's nice. You can see all the teeth in there. It is fairly sharp too. Like I'm you know I'm poking myself a little bit there, but yeah, man, look at that. My God, that's awesome. I kind of don't even want to go over the articulation because it is very simple. Like if you know your way around action figures, you, this is very easy. Um, the arms have free range. There's, you know, single jointed elbows and yeah. Anyways, let's just get right into the comparisons. The articulation is very simple. I, I promise you. Anyways, so let's uh, do some comparisons. So first up, I want to do uh, the collective build figures we've gotten so far. Figures, not you know, Batmobile. So here is Merciless Batman. So, obviously, this isn't the collected build, but it, it is at the same time. So, we got Merciless Batman, we got Bane, and then we got the Dark Father. So, out of these four, my favorite is... Damn, I think I still gotta stay with the Merciless Batman. He just looks so epic. But King Shark comes second, uh, Dark Father third, and then Bane fourth. I just really don't like the skin on that guy, and he could have been so much better. But, still... These look awesome. I'm only going to do this one more time. Uh, you know, pull out all the collective build figures. Uh, so for the next the next uh, figure, which is going to be... I think it's going to be the, uh, the Joker bot, but I could be wrong. Um, so yeah, there you go with the McFarlane collective build figures. And then, if you're really curious, here's the, uh, the uh, collective build... The official collect the build uh, King Shark. So there you go. If you're curious if there's any height difference or anything. Uh, let's do the Suicide Squad comparison. So here is Harley. Polka Dot Man. And Bloodsport. And uh, they all look good. Uh, I was a little afraid that King Shark might be a little too tall. But no, nah, I think it works out. So that's good. So there you go. And then let's do, because uh, obviously King Shark, he's in the ocean, so here's Aquaman. So those two look really good together. And then I remember him being in the uh, Flash show, so for shits and giggles, here's the Flash. So there you go, those look great as well. And then finally, uh, last two comparisons, we got the DC Multiverse Mattel's King Shark, which I recently built. Oh my god, I love that guy, but... I, honestly, I like this one a little bit more than this one. Obviously, he just looks cooler. You know, this looks like... This is like Thor and in Infinity War, and then this is Thor and Endgame, you know. Uh, anyways. And then, finally, here is Groot. Uh, you know, the other... lovable... non-human creature from another James Gunn movie. And I'm surprised how... Uh, tall Groot is. He stacks up very nicely to... a, uh, a seven inch scaled figure and uh so yeah that's cool to see anyways hope you guys enjoyed this review if you liked it uh do all the good stuff and uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below i do have a bunch more dc multiverse videos coming up i have the bat cycle from white knight dr fate and then i have peacemaker coming in the mail and then i have four pre-orders going off tomorrow uh so Make sure you subscribe to see all that. And, uh, yeah. Man, uh, I really like this guy. He's so cool. Uh, I highly recommend picking this guy up uh, if you're not willing to pick up all the figures. 
um, from, you know, the Suicide Squad movie. But if you've seen the movie, I think you do want all those figures because all of them are awesome. And all the characters are awesome. So I definitely wouldn't miss out on them. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Thanks for watching.